Uh, welcome back, friends. And we are continuing with our topic, which is states of matter. This is the second period. So if you have not subscribed my channel, and if you didn't hear the first period, au jachelewa bado, unaweza kusikiza kipindi cha kwanza na usisahau kusubscribe channel na kushare video kwa jambo pindi vya advanced biology pia, advanced physics pamoja na advanced mathematics na BAM kwenye channel hii hii. Kwa hiyo tuendelee na kipindi cha states of matter. Na leo tunaenda kwanza ku discuss kuhusu Gesha state. Uh, kama unakumbuka kwenye kipindi kilichopita tulikuwa na discuss introduction tuisema kwenye Gesha state kuna kwa kuna smaller intermolecular force of attraction so as the room temperature has ability to weaken and not only to weaken even to break the intermolecular force of attraction so the particle in gases they are very far apart from each other and they are able to move around they are able to move around with the kinetic energy so gases are characterized by having neither different shape nor different volume so they have no shape no volume they attain the volume of the container into which they are introduced and even the shape they they just cover the shape of the container in which they are introduced ko ukiweka gas kwenye ndoo itachukua volume ya ndoo ukiweka gas kwenye container fulani na gas yenyewe yani ukiweka kwenye container kubwa inajaa kwenye container ile kubwa ukiweka kwenye container dogo maana yake inafanyaje inakuwa compressed unaibana inakaa kwenye container dogo kwa haina shape na ina uwezo una uwezo kuicompress ukaibana ukaweka kwenye container dogo kwa hata kama gesi na volume kubwa unaweza ukaibana ukaweka kwenye container dogo ikawa occupy a small space a gas consists of molecules separated wide apart in empty space so molecules of gases they can be separated wide apart in empty space the molecules are free to move about throughout the container Uh, molecules they are free to move throughout the the container now let's see about the general properties of gases general characteristics or general properties of gases our first is expansibility expansibility gases have limitless expansibility they expand to fill the entire vessel they are placed in kwa gases zenyewe zinakuwa zina expand kujaza vessel ambayo umeiweka ukiweka kwenye chumba zinajaza chumba ukiweka kwenye ndoo zinajaza ndoo kwa sababu gani zile molecules zina zina disperse yani zinasambaa kwenye hicho chombo kichweka kwa hiyo gases generally hata kama ukaweka ni three molecules kwenye room kubwa yani room kubwa kiasi gani bado tutasema gases molecules zime zime acquire the whole room kwa sababu gani kwa sababu zenye always hiyo zina zina acquire ile space au zina feel the space ambayo umeziweka lakini property ya pili ni compressibility kwa zina expand lakini pia wanaweza kuzicompress ukazibana gases are easily compressed by application of pressure to a movable piston fitted in the container kwa unaweza kuzibana kwenda kwenye kwenye volume inayotaka wewe atatu ni diffusibility gases zina uwezo kudiffuse very rapid very rapid through each other to form a homogeneous mixture kwa mfano ukaweka labda hydrogen gas ukaweka labda na gas flani labda argon kwa hiyo gas na argon zina uh, hydrogen na manisha na argon zina uwezo ku mix na usigundue kuwa hapo kuna gas mbili kwa mfano hivi tunavyoona air air inaonesha kama ni colorless lakini air consists of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide so they diffuse each other kama zireact so if you use form homogeneous mixture lakini kama zina react basi is the is the final reaction gases can diffuse if and only if they cannot react with each other ko gases zina diffuse kama tu has react gases which react with each other cannot diffuse into each other such as ammonia gas cannot diffuse into hydrogen chloride gas kwa sababu gani ammonia na hydrogen chloride gas zina react kwa hiyo pale kitakachotokea sio tena diffusion bali kitakachotokea nini ni reaction. A property nne ni pressure. Gases exert pressure on the wall of the container in all direction. Naenda tutaenda kuona mbele kidogo kuhusu kinetic theory of gases. 
kivipi gases they exert pressure kwa sababu gases ukiweka kwenye room itakuwa na exert pressure to the wall of the room ukiweka kwenye kwenye container itakuwa na exert pressure na hiyo pressure ndio unaita partial pressure kwa tutaenda kuona ni kivipi according to kinetic theory of gases a property ya tano na mwisho ya gases ni effect of heat effect of heat a kwenye effect of heat when gases confined in vessels is heated it is pressure increases it is pressure increases why tutaenda kuona kwa pia kwenye kinetic theory of matter upon heating in a vessel fitted with a piston volume of the gas increases the above property of gases can be easily explained by the kinetic molecular theory which will be considered later in this chapter kwa hiyo tunaposema pressure increases how volume increases on heating tutaenda kuona later how the pressure and volume they are affected by increase in temperature or increasing heat energy of the gas now before going to discuss about the the gaseous law and other aspects of gases let's start discuss about the parameter of gases parameter of gases tunavyozungumzia gas yoyote ile gas yoyote ile duniani lazima iwe na hivi vitu vinne ina volume ina pressure ina temperature na ina number of moles sababu tutakavyoenda kuzungumzia kuhusu gases laws tutakuwa na kuzungumza hivi vitu uhusiano wake a gas sample can be described in terms of four parameters which are measurable properties uh the volume volume is expressed by capital V pressure by capital P temperature by capital T and the number of moles or amount of substance by small n small letter n nb these are sometimes called the properties that determine the behavior of gases a uh, property that determine the behavior of gases let's start with the volume the volume of the container is the volume of the gas sample volume of the container the volume of the gas sample it is usually given in liters are uh, expressed as small l or capital l or milliliters which is ml or so liters can be expressed as small l or capital l and milliliters is ml or ml and 1 liter 1 liter is equal to 1000 mils or 1 liter is equal to 1000 mils so in other words we are saying 1 liter is equal to uh, 10 power negative 3 uh, i mean in other words we are saying 1 mil is equal to 10 power negative 3 liter it can verse is in test 1 liter sana 1000 mils a 1 liter ni sawa sawa na 10 power 3 mils kinyume chake maana yake 1 mil is equal to 10 power negative 3 liter yani kama unielewa hapo unaweza kanielewa kwenye kwenye calculation ambazo tutakuwa nazifanya na sometimes mils zinaandikwa kama cc kwa hiyo ukikuta hapa ameandikwa 1 cc that is is equal to 10 power negative 3 liter kosi sina mills ni kitu kimoja and sometimes liter is expressed as a decimeter cubic decimeter cubic uh, so one decimeter cubic is equal to 1000 mills which is equal to 1000 centimeter cubic Uh, tunazungumzia hizi unit mwanzoni ili tunapoenda mbele sio kachanganya kwamba inakuaje ameandika hivi because of the unit conversion ambayo lazima ujue kwa mwanzoni uh, from there let's jump to pressure the pressure of a gas is defined as the force exerted by the impact of its molecules by its surface area in contact kwa hiyo molecule the gas kama gas inakuwa iko kwenye container kama hili Hizi molecule the gas zinakuwa zina move uh, zina knock the wall zina move in different directions and the movement of the molecules is three dimensional ina move kwenye three directions pia molecule hiyo anakuwa na move now normally these molecules they exert a certain pressure 
on the walls of the container. And this is what we call as the partial pleasure of the gas. So the pleasure of a gas is defending the force exerted by the impact of molecules. These molecules, they, exist, they exert a certain force on the surface of the container and then per unit surface area of the container. The pressure of a gas sample can be measured with the help of a mercury manometer. Similarly, the atmospheric pressure can be determined with the mercury barometer. So we have these devices, devices, devices such as mercury manometer and the, and the, the mercury barometer, which can be used to measure the, the pressure. The pressure of air that can be that can support uh, pressure of air normally atmospheric pressure at sea level when according to Saba Stini Saba Stini millimeter of HG and sometimes this is expressed as one ATM to na different units the pressure to na millimeter of mercury to na ATM to na toll to na bar and lazima ujue kwamba unit of pressure millimeter of mercury is also called toll millimeter of mercury is also called toll so atmospheric pressure ambayo ni 1 atm 1 atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter of hg which is equal to 760 toll kwa kwenye kwenye units of pressure is unit millimeter of mercury na toll zinakoza nafanana lakini 1 Atmosphere is equal to 760 toll or 760 millimeter of mercury. So what we are saying, the SA unit of pressure is Pascal. SA unit of pressure is Pascal. The relation between atmosphere, toll and Pascal is uh, one atmosphere is equal to 760 toll, which is equal to 1.01, uh, 0.013 times 10 power 5 Pascals. So you see, S unit of pressure ni Pascal. Ni Pascal. Au ni Newton per meter square. Because one, one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter square. And one toll is equal to one millimeter of, of mercury. That means these units, they are equivalent. But when you want to convert from one unit to another, Sometimes we'll be given a question in which the units of pressure they are different. So you need to convert the units to be similar first before starting calculations of that questions. So the unit of pressure Pascal is not in common use. We normally use ATM or toll, but the is a unit which is Pascal is not in common use. Uh, let's move to the another parameter, another parameter which is temperature. The temperature of the gas may be measured in centigrade degree or sometimes it is called degree Celsius. The SA unit for temperature is Kelvin and Kelvin is the one which will be mostly using in this topic of gases. Remember, we are always using temperature in Kelvin, not in centigrade. So if you are given temperature in centigrade, you must convert it into Kelvin. And Kelvin is what we call as absolute temperature. Absolute temperature is the temperature measured in Kelvin. So the centigrade degree can be converted to Kelvin by using the equation. Uh, temperature in Kelvin is equal to temperature in degree centigrade plus 273. So if you are given uh, your temperature in Kelvin, you convert, if you are given your temperature in centigrade, you convert it into, into Kelvin by adding 273. The Kelvin temperature or absolute temperature is always used in the calculation of other parameter of gases. Remember that the degree sign is not used in Kelvin. So we don't have maybe 300 degree Kelvin. No, this is not correct. And some of teachers wata kwekea close. Kwa sababu gani umekosea? Sio tu some of teachers hata kama mimi na kusaishia na kuwekea cross. Kini baasi ya walimu wanazwa kawa fea waka kukia tutiki wakaja kwerekeza. We are writing 300 Kevin. This is correct. No degree sign kwenye Kevin. Tuangali pala metamwisho ambao ni number of moles au amount of the substance. Number of moles of a sample of gas in a container can be found by dividing the mass 
of the sample by molar mass, our molecular mass. Uh, from our form 3 chemistry, number of moles is equal to mass of a substance divided by molar mass. Uh, molar mass. Normally mass is in gram and molar mass is in gram per mole. And we are ending up with a unit of mole. So mass yapo lazima we kwenye gram na molar mass we always in a kwenye kwenye gram per mole. So number of moles is equal to mass m divided by molar mass. This is the equation of finding the number of moles of the gas. So in this in this period we are ending up here and in the next period we will start discussing about the gas laws. Gas laws and after discussing the gas laws we will start discussing about the kinetic theory of gases. Stay with me, subscribe to the channel and share the link to your fellow soils. We will be together in advanced chemistry, advanced physics, advanced mathematics and even advanced biology and BAM. Share the video, subscribe to the channel for more updates. Don't forget to click the link below for my telegram group. Thank you.